guys, thank you so much for joining me today as I work on the second Project Life spread for April 2020. I will mainly be using the Feed Your Craft More Please kit. On a side note, please excuse my hands, I was coloring some royal icing using some new powdered color and you have no idea how much of it you actually have on your hands until you wet them. On the left side, it's going to be food related, what we're having during quarantine, uh, so the More Please kit was perfect. I really liked the Good Eats card, but there wasn't a lot of room for journaling on this spread, so I cut out the best part of it and put it on the photo of the picadillo and Mexican rice. Next, I'm going through all the die cuts trying to figure out which one I want to use for this card. The decisions will also be influenced by where I put the fave meal die cut. And I was having a hard time picturing it as a 3x4 so I covered half of the journal card with my hand. And at this point, I wasn't completely committed to the yellow card so I tried out the blue card as well. Ultimately, I went with the yellow card. I'm looking at the stamp set that came with the kit to see what I would like to use on this photo. It's hard to take photos of fondue to be perfectly honest, and I also wanted to get the baguette and the prosciutto in it. I find that I'm reluctant to glue things down lately, and I let them marinate a little bit. And this is why I'm going back and forth. I'm afraid to put down too many things and then not love it, uh, but I did glue down three things and call that card done. So I decided to go forward using some of the stamps from the kit and I'm using the Memento London Fog ink to stamp incredibly satisfying directly on the plate, which fit perfectly. Next, I use the Simply Delicious stamp on the other plate. This is one of our comfort foods that is super easy to make when we don't feel like cooking. Just grab some Swiss fondue, uh, which has alcohol in it of course, <laughs> some prosciutto and a baguette at the German grocery store nearby, warm up the fondue, cut up the baguette, and you're ready to go. I thought the comfort food die cut would be perfect for this, so I trimmed the edge because I'm gonna be adhering it flush with the edge, and had I wanted to place it centered, then I would have left the edge in. My fingers motioning below the comfort food die cut means that I need a label. I'm looking to stick with the green theme, so I used a part of the journal card that I had previously cut. I wrote down Swiss fondue plus prosciutto and trim it down to size and play around with the placement of it just to be sure. I definitely want it below the comfort food. After adhering it with my Tombow mini adhesive, I add a bit of an accent using the tiny attacher. At first, I wasn't sure if I wanted the round part of the fave meal die cut to stick out, but I decided to just go with it and glued it down. One of the things that we have missed about not being able to travel is try new foods. Our favorite restaurant in Cinque Terre had some boxes with food and our wine you could order. So we got the one with three bottles of wine, some pasta, cheese, olives, pesto, and sun-dried tomatoes. What I wanted to do on here was stamp savor every bite with green ink. So I pulled out my ink swatches and got one that closely matched with the green in the Good Eats. It was the Chalk Edgers in English Ivy. I stamped it on cardstock and then I cut it down to size. I also wanted a matching label to add a couple of lines of journaling. I pulled out my phone to make sure that I was spelling the name of the restaurant correctly. Even though I usually have a good idea of where I'm going to place things, I still like to test out other spots to make sure it is indeed the best spot for it. So 
So yes, German beer is great, but I really like my Mexican beer, Tecate, and we found some on base, so I had to pick out a few dozen. I'm not kidding. If there's anything that I learned here, it is to hoard things that you like because you never know when they'll have them again. I wrote a bit of journaling on a label, and I forgot to mention that these are by Kelly Perky. The label was gonna go on a bit crooked, so I pulled it up and smudged it a bit. So I wanted to see if there was another one like it, but it was too big and then it wouldn't match. So I stuck it down as it was. I taped the two photos together so that they won't move around in their pocket. I'm using foam dots to add good eats outside of the pocket and I'm placing three dots so that the middle won't dip down over time. Moving on to the next spread, in April it was my husband's birthday and he started playing Animal Crossing on his birthday weekend. So we got to celebrate it together in the game. I also made him a red velvet cake from scratch which didn't turn out quite as I hoped because I hadn't frosted a cake in years, like eight years, nine years. So I took a photo to show my mom and my sister how awful it turned out. I wish I had taken a, a photo of the part that I did like, so at least I learned a couple of things. One, don't be so hard on yourself, even if you don't love it at all. Two, find a thing that you do like and take a photo of that as well. I decided to go with the polka dot card because I liked all the colors and it reminded me of confetti. I am using the Time to Celebrate stamp set by Everyday Explorers and I used the English Ivy ink here again to stamp it onto some cardstock. But it needs a bit of color so it stands out more and green isn't my favorite color so I don't have a lot uh, of green paper uh, in my 12 by 12 stash. So I resorted to the journal cards and I found a green card from Ali Edwards Stories by the Month Kit from March. And I'm thinking that I want to do a color block. And I'm pretty sure I want to use the March card, but I wanted to try out the one with the forest uh, because it had a little bit more color variation. I decided to go with the solid green and instead of a color block, I just wanted a border around the cutout. For the photo from the game, I'm going to be using a couple of different stamp sets and Brilliance Ink and Moonlight White. The first stamp I'm going to use is uh, also from the Time to Celebrate set by Everyday Explorers. And don't ask me why I thought that white ink would show up on white paper. I added a bit of journaling with the white uniball gel pen. The next stamp set is from Studio Calico by In a Creative Bubble, and I think it's called Stay Home, Stay Safe. What I like about this stamp set is that it has a bunch of cute icons and verbs that go along with them. I added the date using the One Canoe Two Roller Date Stamp and I used the switch icon and playing as the verb and I added ACNH for Animal Crossing New Horizons. I had to make sure that playing wasn't upside down before I stamped it. and I added a bit of journaling. After letting myself sit on the decision about this, I finally stapled it using the tiny attacher. I'm telling you, I've been so indecisive lately. I wanted something for the photo of the cake and I like this homemade goodness card. It's a recipe card, but I just wanted the header. 
Had the photo been a little bit more square, I could have printed it out smaller and stuck it on the journal card itself. But I didn't leave myself much room uh, because again, it, this was just to show the icing job I did and I, so I wasn't thinking about composition. I cut around the curve of the title for a little bit more interest. I also wanted a border for this, so I used the other part of the March Memories card. Honestly, the border was a bit too thin for my liking, so next time I do this, I'll be sure to draw it out with a pencil and then cut it. Lastly, the photo of Maya and Chloe. Maya was so used to being the one with the monopoly of the balcony door, so Chloe hanging out was a new one for her. Chloe would hang out at the base of the cat tree, and Maya would hang out by the door, and she did not like it one bit. My craft room is on the third floor, and the French balcony door has a screen on it, because the one time I opened it, Maya stuck her little body out, freaking me out, and uh, she's because she's clumsy like her mama. <laughs> So my husband put the screen in and so now she can't do that. For this photo, I used the Stay Home, Stay Safe stamp set and the stamps say, this is hard in rosebud chalk edger. And I punched out a circle. The new normal in English Ivy for Chloe. This wasn't cooperating, so I just chose the best one out of the three and fuzzy cut it. I used the One Canoe 2 Roller Date Stamp in London Fog by Memento, and I added some journaling with a Micron pen. Just making sure that I don't smudge this, then I adhere the cutouts. And that's it you guys, let me know if you have any questions down below. Thank you so much for watching, if you made it all the way, click on the thumbs up button, consider subscribing if you haven't, and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. Oh yeah, don't forget to check out my blog for more photos and info. Bye!